Alright, hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft uh, PSP. In this uh, video, we're going to be going over some of the changes made in version 0.2 uh, for the PSP craft server, which is powering all of Minecraft PSP. But before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So, of course, our first thing uh, to look at is that we're going to be working uh, and starting up the craft server, which pretty much just is going to run on the PSP. All that I really need to do is let it set up, connect it to a hotspot, and it should be ready in a few seconds. Yep, now once it's ready, we can go over to our job edition client here, refresh the page, and we should note that the PSP server will be on. Now, once we join, it's going to send a 7x7 array of chunks. It may take uh, a few tries to actually get this to fully go in. Uh, so it might uh, give you like a few errors like this. But uh, after a few tries, you should be able to get in. And I'm working on getting this sort of uh, setup to be a lot more stable in the future. Alright, and now we finally load into the world. It took a few attempts, but we finally got into the actual world here. And as you can see, I've created an entire super flat biome, which you can go around and explore. Now currently the map limit is 7x7, and since chunks on the outside are invisible by default, uh, it actually looks more like a 5x5, so this is a 5x5 with 16, uh, 16 uh, block chunks. Uh, basically what you can go around and do is you can break pretty much anything that you want. You can also go ahead and break uh, all of these blocks. Uh, they currently don't drop anything, and that's what I'm gonna be working on, is drops and entities and crafting in the next sort of update for version 0.3. I also want to go ahead and work a little bit more on the chunk system, as there's some issues there with uh, transmission, uh, specifically over TCP connections. Uh, for example, if a packet gets lost, uh, it's definitely going to create a big problem that definitely needs to have a way of being mitigated. Now, I'm not sure if that's on my side or the server side, or if there's any options that I should be setting in order to get it to work. But I'll be doing a little bit more of that sort of thing and some more redesign work on the actual server itself in order to get it running a lot better. But, as you guys can tell, we have a working world that is perfectly playable on the Minecraft PSP server. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with another update video.